Hi, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you a quick bonus tip. Uh, Kim posted a question on Facebook, and I'm trying to maybe interpret what she's asking. I'm thinking we're talking about how we want this wall to go beyond the glass, and we want the glass to form around this wall and meet the pony wall that has glass on top. And so I want to go through a couple of ideas how to manage this. The issue that I find a lot of times is that this wall, we want to be, say, like um, 86 inches, like two inches away from the, sh the glass wall, the shower wall, right? Um, the glass shower wall is what I should say. And it, when I do 86 inches, or something close within, come on, there we go. When I do something close within four, four inches of where this glass wall is, um, say, let's say I did uh, 88. That's not it. Oh, I think I got to be, here we go. As long as like I'm measuring to the the stud and I'm four inches away from this glass wall, it won't connect uh, to the glass wall. Uh, but I can't and I can't like hold the S key. S is to um, kind of disable the snaps. It it just brings it up. I've tried every which way I can think of. Say let's um, move the glass wall here and make this 86 and then I just center it on this line here. No, nope. it doesn't doesn't work. So one way that I have um, figured out how to do this is pull this uh, wall forward and let's say make it at 88. But that's not exactly how I want it here because as you can see, let's let's turn this uh, gray so we can kind of see what's going on. I don't want the glass on on the pony wall to go beyond this glass wall here. Uh, so that doesn't make sense. So what I'm going to get in here and do is I'm going to I'm going to break this wall, this pony wall at the glass line. And then I've got a little four and a half inch piece of wall that we can go to wall types and shut off the pony wall and make this a, um, in my wall types, it's just an interior for a new pony wall. And that remains as a glass uh, panel because it is, we've got it set as a railing with panels and that's not how we want it. I'm gonna do a railing solid and then I'm going to drag this dimension up here. And now I can make that, say, 86 inches. Let's, uh, let's look at this railing here. Go into wall types. There we go. 42 and 7 eighths. So let's make our railing at 42 and 7 eighths. There's that. Okay, and then we probably need to check some of the uh, materials because it looks like, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to go use default. I might have been better off instead of breaking it, just adding a new, a new pony wall um, material by itself. just so that I could, um, there we go. And now I can adjust that cap and, and make that, um, you know, uh, a marble or something like that. Now, um, this doesn't quite meet in there, right? So let's take a look at our section through here. Here's our glass wall. Uh, 
let's see if we can drag this over. That doesn't change anything if we drag it over here. We've got we still got this gap. Um, so let's drag this. Uh, let's break the bottom. I'm going to drag this up. Over. It really doesn't doesn't help us, does it? To um, fix that gap in there, unfortunately. The best way to, I think, to to fix the gap might be, let's see if we can take this piece of wall and turn it like so and center it on that. Delete this piece, there we go. Can I make that just half an inch long? Uh, wall length, let's say 0.5. says unconnected wall that means I lost my room room definition so let's select that wall and make it uh, five eighths there we go now we have a room definition and let's select this wall and see if I can move my wall layers up here, select that wall, move my wall layers here to the corner. Ah, didn't like that somehow, did it? Okay. Let's undo that. I think that might be the closest we actually get to, to working like that. Hope that's helpful. Um, we do have a interesting wall gap there. What is that? Oh, maybe wonder if we turn this into a railing and grab open solid to remove the wall cap. Delete that. And make that um, six, seven, seven eighths tall. Oh. Hmm. I gotta remember how to deal with that gap in the ceiling. If I do no room definition, the gap in the ceiling remains. I have to remember on that one. Take this and turn it. So center it here, make it five eighths long. I hope that's helpful. If you like this, click like and subscribe right down there. Uh, take care. See you next time.